Welcome to Philosophy in Review. In this episode of our Empiricist Philosopher series, we will discuss the philosophy of William of Ockham. William of Ockham, who lived between 1287 and 1347, was an English Franciscan philosopher and theologian. He is considered one of the most prominent philosophers during the High Middle Ages period. Today, we associate him with the methodological principle that bears his name, Occam's Razor. Occam's philosophy was radical in his day. The principle of simplicity is the central theme of Occam's approach. Occam used his razor idea as a way to describe removing, or shaving away, unnecessary hypotheses. In metaphysics, Occam championed nominalism. This is the view that universal concepts are nothing more than concepts in the mind. In epistemology, the study of knowledge, Occam defended direct realist empiricism. In this view, human beings perceive objects through intuitive cognition without the help of any innate ideas. These perceptions provide us with our abstract concepts and provide knowledge of the world. Occam's view on logic presented his version of supposition theory to bolster his commitment to mental language. Supposition theory held various purposes in medieval logic. One of the primary ones was explaining how words bear meaning. Theologically, Occam maintained that belief in God is a matter of faith rather than knowledge. Against the mainstream of his time, he insisted that theology is not a science. He rejected all of the alleged proofs of the existence of God. Occam's ethics supported the divine command theory. In this theory of ethics, what is moral is determined by God's commands and that a moral person must follow God's commands. In political philosophy, Occam supported some degree of individual rights, separation of church and state, and freedom of speech. Here are six quotes attributed to William of Occam. 1. It is vain to do with more what can be done with fewer. 2. Entities should not be multiplied beyond necessity. 3. The simplest explanation is usually the correct one. 4. The burden of proof lies with the one who makes the claim. 5. Nothing is in the intellect that was not first in the senses. 6. The will is free to choose between alternatives. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment to let us know your thoughts on it.